Hey, what's going on everybody? Red Runner Music here bringing you another video. Today we're back on some PC building simulator. And if you see in the top left, there's a bunch of numbers and letters and things. That's my MSI Afterburner running because I'm doing some checkups over here. And the reason I'm doing some checkups is because I finally upgraded my PC. And I'll get into that as we go on. Uh, I talked about it a little bit when I was talking about like buying graphics cards and stuff like that. I didn't buy a graphics card yet. I haven't decided on one. I don't really know what I want to do. And I'm not over here balling. So we're going to check out this mission. Check out this mission. And this mission. All right, so that's our three. This one's got the date. And my frame rates are much better than they normally are. Uh, on this game before, I was getting... First of all, I always played on very low. So all of my other videos, I was on very low settings on 1080. Uh, right now we're on the highest settings on 1080. I don't have... Why am I taking this all out? Oh my god, I can't talk while I play. I got problems. I got problems. All right, well the graphics card has to not be plugged in, so at least I did that right. Uh, <laughs> let's pull that out. I don't even know what that was. 964 gigabyte. That's what he needs. That's all he needs. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait before I buy anything. I'm not going to order anything. We're going to save money on shipping and stuff like that. All right, so 960. Where is that at? It's way down here. 1388. How much is a 970 gamer? I think that's a lot. It's kind of ugly, too. <laughs> I'm so, uh superficial or whatever when it comes to this stuff. We're gonna go with a uh, 380, I think. 380's cheaper. Go that. Is it? A little cheaper. We'll go with that. Um, Alright, so that's all he needs. Liquid cooling? No, this guy doesn't need that. One of the other guys needs that. We'll just go with the cheapest one. <laughs> Alright, so this guy needs a graphics card. But for my PC, I ended up buying a new CPU and a new motherboard. Uh, so what had happened, if you guys follow me on Instagram or anything like that, you probably know that I won some RAM from G-Skill in a giveaway that they had on Instagram. Oh, it was just like some simple thing. You just like commented or something and you got entered. And somehow I magically won, which I had no idea until like the day... I, like, until somebody messaged me, like, some other person was like, hey, you just won this. And I was like, what? <laughs> so I have the Trident Z RGB 16 gigabytes of it. But the thing was, I wasn't able to use that with my other motherboard, because that motherboard was old. And I used DDR3. Well, since I was upgrading my motherboard, I had to get a processor and stuff. So I ended up buying a new bundle that they had on Newegg. And it was... 280 in the end for AMD 2600 non-X and the new Asus B450F Gaming. So I was like, alright, we'll do that. I like how the motherboard looks, it's got good stuff on it. Uh, it works better with my processor and it was in a bundle and it was cheap. I ended up saving like probably close to 100 bucks, maybe 75 bucks on it and getting it out of bu as a bundle. So right now we're rocking 16 gigs of RAM. Uh, this new processor, the 2600, and this new motherboard. I have not touched my graphics card. That's, like, the next thing I have to do. And then after that, I want to get, like, a liquid cooling thing, like the Kraken or something like that. Maybe something from Corsair. I don't want to do anything custom. I don't like how that looks, really. It's a little too far for me. <laughs> Alright, what'd this guy have? He has, like, a 290 or something like that. So let's also check out the 380s for this guy. What's his price? We could do that. It's gonna need some liquid cooling. But yeah, as far as I can tell, this thing is a significant upgrade. I looked at, so, well, first of all, I did a benchmark on Cinebench, and it's straight up double the power of my old CPU. And that's what every review said online and stuff like that. Like, I did comparisons online, and I was like, okay, that sounds good. So that's what I ended up doing. So yeah, it lives up to like the numbers that were online. I didn't think they would lie or anything like that anyway. So it is double the thing. And if you have that old 8, uh, 8350, I think it was, 
I definitely recommend doing this switch. Uh, it's not too expensive for the 2600, and the reason I went with that over the X was because people said this is unlocked and it's all for like overclocking or stuff like that, but I'm not even going to mess with that. I think the ASUS board might even tweak it a little bit on its own, just naturally, because I think all their ROG stuff does that. At least that's what I've heard. I don't know how true that is. I don't know. Why am I taking this apart? I don't even know what it is yet. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. All right. Let's, let's get in here. I have issues with, like, talking while I'm playing. I don't know. It also doesn't help that it's uh, that I'm up late. I've been getting up early lately, and today's like the first day I stayed up late. All right, so he has... I have no idea what he has. I'm gonna throw this guy's computer back together. I'm gonna put the will it run thing on this, so I don't have to like try to cross-reference. I don't know why I keep doing that every episode, but today's the day it stops. All right, so now we got will it run on this guy's computer where I can just easily read this. All he needs is RAM with minimum spec. It's RAM. I was about to get crazy. I didn't even have to do anything. Oh, Jesus, what's wrong with me? Alright, so let's just give him RAM. If I can open the right little slot thing. Cool. Shop. Memory. Why is this in this order? What did this thing say I need for Photoshop? Eight. Alright, so what's our date on this other guy's build? Nine days? We got plenty of time. Wait, why is that green right now. Yeah, we got plenty of time for three to five day shipping, so let's go ahead and do that. I believe that's everything. Hopefully that's everything. I'm gonna skip ahead. All right, everything is here. And we're about to crank out some computers for these people. Memory. So I think the most, sig well, not the most significant, it's stupid to say. I also bought a SSD off of my friend, which has made a huge change as far as like start time, like boot times and games loading and stuff like that. To me, a massive difference, and I was in—I was back in the '80s as far as technology goes. When I came to hard drives, that thing was—I oh, still have it. It's for my main storage, but that thing was nothing compared to this SSD. So, if for some reason you're like me and you take forever to upgrade your PC and you're still rocking old school hard drives, definitely make that switch. It's definitely worth it, as far as I can tell you. My PC used to take like five minutes to boot up. Now it's not, it might not even be 30 seconds. Um, for iRacing, when I play iRacing, that game used to take maybe five or six minutes to start as well. And now that's right away. There's no like slowness in the loading. Like it doesn't even stop. You just see the thing going to do a circle, doing motions with my hands, like you can see it or something. Um, yeah, that's everything. Why am I looking? I'm telling you, I have problems when it comes to talking and playing lately. Alright, what's this guy need? A graphics card? I think we got the same one for everybody, so I'm not gonna get confused here. But yeah, like I was saying, a graphics card's definitely the next thing for me. Especially because I want to get into VR. Like, that's my overall goal as far as, like, gaming goes for this year. It'll allow me to have fun, first of all, <laughs> which is important. Uh, and it will allow me to bring some cool stuff to the channel. Like, I want, I've always wanted to mess with VR stuff. I love watching people play VR stuff on YouTube as far as, like, iRacing or whatever, or even, like, horror games. But yeah, as far as I can tell, my PC is running pretty good. And I will show a bit of it at the end, what it looks like now versus what it looked like before. I have some pictures of it before. And I can do some pictures of it right now. And I can't stop looking at it with all this RGB that's going on. My old thing had like a red LED in the bottom left for the motherboard as far as like the sound something. It was like some thing. That was alright, but it ain't nothing on this. Unfortunately, the CPU cooler that I got doesn't have the little LED AMD logo that I thought it would. I have like the skinny thing. It's not RGB either. It's not the RGB Wraith cooler or whatever it's called. It's some other one. But I do like the look of it. It's very round. It's I was talking about it before to my friend. It looks significantly better, and I don't even know what it is about it. It's just like perfectly round, and it's got like a little detail to it. I don't know. I'm looking at it right now. It's it's like a turbine-looking thing, almost from like a jet. Though I know somebody over there is going, "Oh, you, you don't have liquid cooling, or that thing's a piece of crap." But it's all right. People were saying this motherboard gets hot because of the shroud thing that's on it for the little RGB thing in the corner. Temperatures are fine. They're actually pretty on par with what they were at before. 
and I had like a much better cooler before. In fact, the thing that gets the most hot in my computer is the GPU, which is actually running pretty fine right now. Sometimes it gets up into the 70s, and that's not even that bad either when it's in the 70s. All right, let's get this guy out of here. We have two done as far as I know, and then we got the third. Don't remember what any of them needed. Liquid cooling for this guy, and that other graphics card in the Easy missions for today. You know Before I put that in, we're gonna go ahead and get rid of these. Probably not a good idea to sell everything I have, but we're selling everything. I have so many goddamn coolers. Get rid of these. Okay. And I'll throw this in. But yeah, like I was saying with the eye racing and stuff, that game specifically, I normally would get like 50, 60 frames per second when I was playing. And I play in 4K, most of the settings are on high. Or like the maximum thing. And I was getting a hundred and something frames, 110 frames on Lime Rock with the MX-5. And that's much better than what I was getting before. There's a very vibrant case going on with this monster energy look. Why does it not like that? Oh, that's right. We haven't run the cable yet. Install the window. And then I picked up American Truck Simulator. Uh, you probably laughed at me right there, but I do like simulator games, obviously, as we're playing PC Building Simulator. And I just want something chill to drive on that's not eye racing, where I have to be at, like, my peak performance so I don't lose. Because I'm very competitive on eye racing. <laughs> like, I take that game too seriously. But yeah, I wanted something chill to play in American Truck Simulator is probably one of the best games for that. Which I could bring to the channel if you guys want to see that, let me know. But on that I played before, right before I changed the, the stuff in the PC. And I was getting probably 55 frames, 60 frames, because it... I think it limits. Now it's just straight, steady on 60 frames, and it's pretty good. And I play that on in 4K as well on medium to high settings. Plus I have mods installed on that too. And then I did a test stream on both that and iRacing to test my CPU usage. On my old thing, it used to use probably 40% just to run OBS as, as like a stream. And now <laughs> it's literally like 3%. And then with the game on top, it's 25 max. It's impressive. I didn't expect it to be that good. And that's part of the reason why I went with uh, AMD over Intel, plus, besides the price. The price is just unbeatable, but... First of all, the G-Skill RAM gets boosted or something like that by AMD. Like, it works better with AMD than Intel, and there's something about that on their website that I didn't bother to read. I just saw that, and I was like, alright, that's whatever. But AMD, I've heard, is better for, like, utility stuff like that. It's, like, streaming and editing videos and stuff, and... That's like it's strong suit versus gaming, but it could do both. So that's why I went with AMD and I've always had the AMD 8350 or whatever. So it's a trusted brand of mine. Let's get all this out of here and then we'll get to these uh, visuals of my PC. Don't call me babe. I don't know you. <laughs> oh, that's babe. What is this? Is they like one of those like snobby people that talk with like a half British accent, but they're not British? Where they're like, I, I don't know, they like walk around with like a poodle thing in their purse and all that, I don't know. Those are the people that say babe. Either that or it's a hooker. But uh, yeah. I think I explained all of my PC stuff. Talked about how it performs, I talked about what it is and what I have next that I'm going on to. So yeah, I'll show you guys some pictures and whatnot of it. Alright, so here's an old picture of my PC before the upgrade. That's an MSI 970 Gaming, I think the board is. And then I have a Sapphire yeah, 380 graphics card and 8 gigabytes of G-Skill Sniper and the FX 8350. And here it is now. Hey, what's going on everybody? Hopefully I explained this part before I started putting it in the video. I'm filming this before I actually filmed today's episode. Anyways, we have our G skill sitting here looking pretty with the red, white, and blue. Uh, I was inspired by my own build in PC Building Simulator from last episode, I think. Maybe the one before, whatever the free build one was that I did, where I did the red, white, and blue. I like how that looks. I like the contrast between the red and the blue, and it just looks, like, good. That is such a vibrant light on there. 
It's crazy. And on the side, you get that little G scale right in there. It's on both sides. It's at the bottom of the other. It looks awesome. Here's our stock cooler. I don't know why people don't like it. I guess it's because it's not the best and it doesn't look the best. But I don't think it looks that bad, personally. Especially from this angle. This is kind of how I'm sitting. You get the little, like, reflection off of it. It looks awesome. Here's that shroud I was hopefully talking about. People say that it makes the computer, like, hotter or whatever, but I don't see that. Works fine. It's kind of hard to see there, but I did a mix between the red and the blue to bring it together. We still have our 380X, which is the weakest link in this computer. I have the new SSD sitting here. Well, it's not new, but it's new to me. That has made a huge improvement as well in this build. But this thing looks awesome. Let me go ahead and turn off the light. Yeah, so this is how it looks from where I usually sit, and it's insane. It's so bright. Probably the weirdest thing about this whole build that I did was this, uh, whatever their software is for tuning the RGB from ASUS. It's kind of weird. Uh, it doesn't let you customize things perfectly either. Like, I can't get white in the middle. That's actually like a teal. It's hard to see, I know. It's actually like a teal, but it looks white just because it blends, but it's strange. I'd say that's the only downside to this whole build, honestly. But uh, hopefully I talked about it in the video. Uh, I basically have double the performance that I had before, and I haven't even touched the graphics card yet. And I didn't go with like a high-end processor either. It's probably mid to high-end. Ah, oh, but it works pretty good. Hopefully uh, this video is coming out good. But that's it for this one, guys. Just wanted to show you my new upgrades that I got since... We've been doing a lot of PC building simulator. Want to bring some real life PC building simulator into it. But uh, yeah, if you guys haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below. Let me know what you think of my upgrades here in the comments. And uh, thanks for watching, everybody. See you all next time. Peace.